To mark a component as realised, select it in the Model Explorer and show the properties view. Change the Realised Component property to True and Verify will attempt to bind with the provided Java classes at launch time. The Realized Component Path property allows you to specify a path to a root folder containing the compiled Java classes or to a Java jar file containing them. Now let's compare a Realized Component implementation of the GPS watch with the previous example using the external entity. First of all, note that there is no modelled part other than the declaration of the UI component itself. We see two Java interface declarations, UI interfaces I UI from provider and UI interfaces I UI to provider. I UI from provider declares the methods lap reset pressed light pressed, mode pressed, set target pressed, and start stop pressed. IUI2 provider declares set data, set time, and start test. Together, these interface declarations cover the whole of the modeled UI interface. The method names match the names of the operations and signals declared in the interface, with some adjustment for Java naming conventions. The implementation Java class, Realize.UI, implements the iui2 provider Java interface and takes a constructor argument of type iui from provider. The constructor caches the past argument, which implements the port for outgoing calls. Using a realized component, we don't need the event passing trick used for the external entity solution. To send the signal, we simply call the required method on the cached port instance. Finally, you will notice that each method on the interface has an additional component instance C argument. This allows a realized Java class to leverage the sender keyword protocol by caching the past component instance and passing it with any outgoing calls. For models where the target component is a singleton, this isn't necessary and we can just pass null in this argument.